Hey, what's up, YouTubers, and welcome back to another Toddy Walnuts collection overview video. And today we're going to go through my Arrow collection. So it's got uh, Blu rays, DVDs, steel books, and box sets. And this could easily be a two hour video if I decide to go through every box set and talk about every movie. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to keep this as close to one hour as possible. If there's something that I come across during this video that you would like to see more of, you can comment and let me know and I'll show that in a future video. Also, if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them so you can comment those down below as well. And hopefully I'll give you some suggestions here and by showing you what I have and maybe It'll spark interest to you, and you might want to pick one of these up, or a few of them, or maybe a lot of them. I don't know. So get a snack, get relaxed, and let's check out the collection. So the way that I have these organized, it's in alphabetical order, but they're in subsections, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So these first one, two, three, three and a half shelves are the single editions, just the regular uh, movies with slip covers or without. And then getting into the halfway through the fourth shelf and down, these are the more deluxe editions or the box sets on that shelf. And then coming over to shelf two, on the top shelf we have these steel books and it goes a little bit into the second shelf. And then I have the window box editions. And then it goes down to DVDs. So that's how everything is, is set up here. And it works for me. It, it's, uh, it may seem like it's a little bit unorganized for you, but this is the the way that I like to have my movies. So, and I start with the numbers and go through A to Z. And the first movie is called the Eight Diagram Pole Fighter. Comes with a really nice slip cover. The next one is 12 Monkeys, starring Bruce Willis and Brad Pitt. Pretty decent slasher from the, I say mid to late 70s. I think it was 76. Alice, Sweet Alice. I believe this was Brooke Shields' first movie. Um, I'm not finding the year, at least not quick enough, and I don't want to spend too much time looking for that. Uh, what is that right there? 1976? Hold on a second. Let me take my glasses off. For some reason, when I'm trying to read up close, yeah, 1976, you, maybe you can see that there. I can see better without my glasses when I'm looking up close. Don't get old, guys. Getting old sucks. Next one is a Mario Bava movie called Baron Blood. Basket Case. Larry Cohen. Pretty cool slipcover. Yeah. Pretty fun little movie. A little popcorn movie. I'm sorry, this is not Larry Cohen. This is Frank Henenlotter, who also did Brain Damage and Frank and Hooker. They had very similar styles of filmmaking. Next one is called The Beast Within. Pretty fun movie. Pretty cool transformation scenes in there. Here's Beyond the Door 2.
Shock, another movie by Mario Bava. Beyond Reanimator, I, I believe that slipcover glows in the dark. If you hold it up to a light to kind of charge it and then turn the lights off, I believe that one glows. Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, Russ Meyer goodness. If you know who Russ Meyer is and what kind of movies he makes, you know what kind of movie that is. The Big Knife. Pretty good cast. You got Jack Palance, you got Rod Steiger, you got Shelley Winters, Ida Lupino. There's some great, great actors. Here's some good black exploitation cinema. This is Black Mama, White Mama, Pam Greer, Black Rainbow, Rosanna Arquette was in that one, Black Sabbath, This is the three disc set. This one was released by Arrow in the year 2013. And then four years later, in 2017, they re released it with a different cover. Here's uh, Takashi Mike's Black Society trilogy. Mike always has great films. He's a great director. Here's a blind woman's curse. Some more Japanese goodness. Here's Herschel Gordon Lewis, Blood Feast. Splatter movies, a lot of blood in those type of movies. You have Blood Rage, a little low budget slasher film. Here is Bloodstone. This is one of the movies that was directed or produced by Nico Mastarakis. And this one was also produced by Nico Mastarakis, who is a great director. I really enjoy his movies. Here's the Bloodstained Butterfly. The Italians are always very clever with their titles. Here's Frank Henenlotter again. We just talked about him. This is brain damage. There's a 70s kind of a crime suspense. Bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia. The Brotherhood of Satan. Burt Lancaster in Brute Force. Directed by Jules Dassin. There's a really fun 80s backwoods slasher called The Burning. This one has really good rewatchability. Holds up. Okay, so I left off with The Burning. I had to go get a drink. So this one's called Burnt Offerings, Haunted House type movie. Blu ray DVD combo. In the 70s, there was quite a few killer car movies, and this one is called The Car, and it's a killer car. Here's another Italian crime called a giallo film. This is Case of the Scorpion's Tail. This is a French Western. It's in the same vein as a spaghetti Western, low budget, high action, um, a very violent type of a Western movie, and this is called Cemetery Without Crosses. Here's a movie going back to my childhood that I really enjoyed, the first one anyway, Children of the Corn. They had many sequels that were pretty bad, but this first one was pretty good. Here's a slasher from the early 80s set in a winter type setting called Chill Factor. It was pretty good. Oops, missed one here. This was called Chud. 
This also takes me back to my childhood, renting this on VHS back in the day. I used to have, um, when I was a kid, my parents used to have Halloween parties uh, every year and they would let me invite a handful of my friends and my brother would invite a handful of his friends and we'd watch horror movies and play games and stuff like that. And uh, my dad would tell campfire tales out in the back. It was pretty fun around the fire. Those were the good days. Next one is called the City of the Dead. Here's some ridiculousness over the top. Uh, very cheesy VHS, uh, kind of a, a drive-in style horror movie called Class of Nukem High. You don't have to do any thinking whatsoever during this movie. Just watch and enjoy it. This one's called The Climber. This was a very good movie. Um, I had never heard of it until I purchased this through Arrow a few years ago. It has a really good um, atmosphere to it, and it takes place in Italy. I believe it's filmed in Italy. And really, really good um, scenes. Pretty suspenseful movie. It's kind of a whodunit slasher type movie. Here's the very lovely Pam Greer, who she's in her 70s now. She's still she's still pretty for her age. You know, she aged well. Um, this is a Jack Hill movie called Coffee. I really enjoy Pam Greer and her movies. This one is a based on a true story. I don't know if it was loosely based or or not, but it was based on a serial killer movie or, or a serial killer uh, story called Cold Light of Day. Let's see if it says on the back who it was. I watched this but I don't remember who it was based on. Dennis Nilsson. If you guys want to know more about him you can look him up. You can Wikipedia Google him or whatever you want to do. This one's called Contamination. Great slipcover. A little sci-fi goodie. This one is called Cinema Paradiso. I believe this was a Barnes & Noble exclusive with the slipcover. Here's kind of a crime type of a film noir, femme fatale type movie. Great cover though, by the way. Crimes of Passion. Kathleen Turner and Anthony Perkins. There's another Japanese horror movie called Dark Water. This is kind of a sort of a little box set type pickup here that uh, it was David Cronenberg's early works. So you get some of a few of his movies from the early days. You get Transfer from the Drain, Stereo and Crimes of the Future. I believe this comes as bonus material for one of his box sets and I'm not I'm just kind of drawing a blank right now but if I come across it later I'll, I'll point that out but if you have a certain box set with this on you don't really need this edition here the only reason I got that one is because Arrow had a really big sale several years ago and it was just almost nothing so I grabbed it here is a really good spaghetti Western starring Lee Van Cleef and Giuliano Gemma called Day of Anger. Uh, if you don't have much experience watching spaghetti westerns or, or even really don't know much about them, they are Italian directed and usually uh, filmed in Italy or Spain or somewhere out in Europe in, in those type of areas. And they're sort of low budget but they're very well done, they're very gritty they're very violent and they're kind of hit and miss though there's a lot of them it's it's almost like the horror genre where you know you get a lot of duds before you find a good one so in this case this movie right here is very good and if you've never seen it um, I definitely do recommend checking it out it's even worth a buy just if you haven't seen it before blind buy it and watch it you'll be glad it's in your collection here is a trilogy called Dead or Alive you get, you can see there at the bottom, Dead or Alive, 
Dead or Alive 2 Birds, and Dead or Alive Final. Japanese, I believe. Yeah, this is definitely... Um, it's either Japanese or Korean. I know I always get corrected, and I, I'm i never really sure if it's Japanese or Korean or sometimes Chinese, but it's Asian for sure. Here's a dead-end drive-in, really low budget. Not a great movie, but it's it's got some moments in the movie where it's pretty fun to watch. Here's Wes Craven's Deadly Blessing. And this one has... I believe this was one of Sharon Stone's first movies. Yeah. And Ernest Borgnine, great actor, starred in that one as well. And the last one for this shelf is called Deadly Games. So we will pause it here and start on shelf two. So I was looking at some of my statistics earlier today on YouTube and some of the analytics and all that stuff and I'll just kind of fill you in on some of the things that my channel's been going through, um, I guess on average. I'm getting approximately 18 minute uh, views on average from my subscribers. Uh, I get about 10% likes from the views. So uh, not that I care. I never ask for thumbs up and I never ask for subs. So that's, that's up to you guys if you want to do that or not. I, I could care less. 60% um, of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. I, I found that kind of, uh, that's kind of shocking, but it, again, it is what it is. And the median age of people who watch my videos is in the 45 range, uh, the middle range. I think it's like 40 to 50 or something like that. It's like a 44 median. So I just, I thought that was pretty interesting. I wanted to share a couple stats with you guys. The first one on shelf two is called Deadly Manor. I enjoyed this movie. It had a pretty good twist to it. Not gonna spoil it in case you wanna watch it yourself. Next one is called Death Has Blue Eyes. Death Screams. This was a, I believe this cover was the website exclusive from Arrow Video. And then they also released it here. This was the other cover that was released everywhere. Death Smiles on a Murderer, filmed by Joe D'Amato and Klaus Kinski, isn't it? Um, I'm not seeing it. I thought I thought Kinski was in here. Yeah, yeah, he is in here. This is a typical sinister performance. Uh, here's the digger you deep. The what? The digger you deep. I'm gonna keep that in there. The deeper you dig. What's up, my digger? Um, the Delta Force, starring Chuck Norris and Lee Marvin. Tough guy movie. I remember renting that in the 80s on VHS. Fun, fun movie. Here's Deranged, The Confessions of a Necrophile, based on the life and the, uh, the very grim existence of Wisconsin ghoul, Ed Gein. Here's Dillinger. Obviously, it's a movie based on the gangster bank robber, John Dillinger. Here's another spaghetti western called Django, Prepare a Coffin, another great movie. Here's Doberman Cop. Okay. 
Doom Asylum. Don't go in the house. Don't torture a duckling. It's a Fulci movie. Dress to Kill, Brian De Palma picture. Abel Ferraro's The Driller Killer. Toby Hooper's Eaten Alive. Edge of the Axe. Anthony Perkins starring in Edge of Sanity. Evil Ed. This one. I have the Italian title on. This is called The Fifth Chord. It's an Italian giallo. It's an Italian giallo movie and it's uh, very good. Franco Nero stars in it. I recommend that one. The Forbidden Photos of a Lady Above Suspicion. Five Dolls for an August Moon. See what I mean about the Italian titles are very appealing. They want you to grab the movie and go check it out. Pulls you in. Just as I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Here's Pam Greer again, Foxy Brown. It's probably my favorite. Pam Greer movie, although I, I do like coffee a lot too, and Sheba Baby. Uh, this one's The Fury, another one from Brian De Palma. This one's called Girls Night Out, another kind of a sorority house, uh, college campus slasher movie, and then it was also released under the title The Scare Maker. Uh, so these two are the same movie, they just have different titles. another spaghetti western starring the great Lee Van Cleef called The Grand Duel. Um, oftentimes Lee Van Cleef was the villain in movies but not always but he did play a great villain he was a great actor. This one's called The Giver. It's got Michael Berryman in it. Sci-fi type movie. Here's a German movie from Fritz Lang. Uh, Hangman Also Die black and white. Here's a Japanese WTF kind of movie, um, The Happiness of the Katakuris, Takashi Miike. Here's Hell Comes to Frogtown, starring the great and the late Rowdy, Rowdy Piper. It's a fun movie. And this one was also fun. This is called Hellgate. You can see uh, Horshack was in there, Ron Palillo. I believe uh, Aaron Moran, who played Joni, was also in this movie. I don't want to look too much. Um, yeah, I could be wrong about that because I don't see Aaron Moran. It looks like her, but I, I watched that movie. It's been so long since I've seen it, I don't remember. This is an American Western starring Peter Fonda and Warren Oates called The Hired Hand. I thought Peter Fonda was a good actor. So these two are the same movie, just have different titles. Um, I think the one on the left was the um, original title and it was released everywhere. But the one on the right is the alternate title, and I believe that was the Arrow Video website exclusive. You can only buy that online. So those are the two covers. They're pretty great. And that lady in the movie played one hell of a psycho. It almost seemed like she didn't need much acting. <laughs> I wonder if she was really crazy in real life. Next one's called Hired to Kill, another Nico Mastarakis movie starring George Kennedy. 
Brian Thompson and Oliver Reed. Great cast. Here's Horror Express. This one has Christopher Lee and Telly Savalas and Peter Cushing. It's a great cast. Another Japanese movie called Horrors of Malformed Men. Howling 2. Incident in a Ghost Land. The Incredible Melting Man. Here's another crazy Italian title, The Iguana with the Tongue of Fire. Now how would you not, how could you not rent that or buy it? Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Donald Sutherland. The Initiation. The Initiation of Sarah. Starring Shelley Winters and Morgan Fairchild. So this has two movies in it. You have you get the Invisible Man Appears, and you also get the Invisible Man versus the Human Fly. Here's another Nico Masterakis movie called Island of Death. To, um, to me, that was I, I enjoy Nico Masterakis's movies quite a bit. Uh, but this was probably one of his worst. It's, I think it's my least favorite of all of his movies. It was, was not very good, to me anyway. Here's Jamaica Inn, a film by Alfred Hitchcock starring the great Charles Lawton and Maureen O'Hara. Let me see if I can get that glare off of there. It's a pretty, pretty beautiful cover. And the last one for Shelf 2 is kind of a black exploitation horror movie called JD's Revenge. Shelf 3, we have Kioma, another spaghetti western starring the great Franco Nero. He's easily one of the best to do it, if not the best. He, he was great. He's still with us. I don't think he's doing much acting these days. He's up there quite a bit in age, but legend for sure. Here's Mario Bava's Kill Baby Kill. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This movie is excellent. I think this is a great movie. Don Siegel's The Killers. If you've never seen this movie, do check it out. It's a, it's an older black and white movie, but it's very good. I'm trying to see if I can find a year on here. 1964, is that what it said? And this one is also excellent. This is a Stanley Kubrick movie called The Killing. And... Uh, it's about a bank robbery. Was it a Brit? No, they were robbing a racetrack, I think. Well, it, it's about a robbery, an organized robbery. So these, this gang of people, I'll just briefly tell you about it, come up with a plan, but the plan soon falls apart, and they start turning on each other. And it's excellent. It's very, very well done. So you get an ex-con, a corrupt cop, a reformed alcoholic, a wrestler, a sharpshooter, and some inside men all doing a robbery together. And it's really crazy how it all falls apart. It's very interesting, very entertaining. Here's Romero's Night Riders. Here is Le Grand Buffet. Lake Michigan Monster. This one's called The Assassin. That's the Italian title. There's Life Force. 
kind of a uh, it's a, well, it's not kind of a it's a it's a sci-fi horror movie that takes place in space, but space vampires, excellent. Here's Lovers Lane. This is kind of a more modern, kind of an urban legend slasher movie. Madhouse, ghost stories. Madman, Backwoods Slasher. Madman Mars. Man of a Thousand Faces, starring James Cagney, one of my favorite actors of all time. He's up there with Clint Eastwood and Johnny Depp. Al Pacino. Uh, this is Massacre Gun, Japanese action. Microwave Massacre, you can probably tell by the title. It's a silly movie, but it's still pretty fun. Milano, Cal Cal Milano Calibro 9. Keep moving. Motel Hell, kind of a dark comedy. Still fun, I really like that movie quite a bit. Here's the, the Mutilator, great release. Good slasher movie. Here's John Ford's My Darling Clementine. Classic American Western. Nightmare City, starring Hugo Stiglitz. That was a pretty good soundtrack, pretty good movie. The Naked City. The Navigator, a medieval odyssey. Night of the Comet, 80s horror movie about a couple of uh, valley girls who have to try to survive kind of an apocalypse. When the comet falls, a lot of people turn into other type of monsters. And This is an excellent movie, The Night of the Hunter. I love this movie. It's one of my favorites of all time. Uh, Robert Mitchum was a great villain in this movie. If you've never seen this movie, it's excellent. Check it out. Nightmare at Noon, another Nico Mastarakis movie. It's pretty good. One-Armed Boxer. Another excellent movie. This is Oxbow Incident. has a great cast. Uh, I love this movie. I've seen it a couple times. It has Henry Fonda was in it. Um, also, uh, Henry Morgan, you guys might remember him from MASH. He played Colonel Potter. He's got that voice that every, you can just, even if you didn't see who was talking and you hear the voice, you know it's Henry Morgan. And uh, he played, he was Henry Fonda's best friend in the movie. I'm not going to tell you anything about it because the ending is left open for your interpretation. I know what mine is. I can't tell you what yours is, only you know that. Um, there are events that happen in this movie where you have to form an opinion within yourself and what happens at the end you have to decide if you think it was right or wrong and it's definitely a great movie if you've never seen this don't read anything about it go into it blind watch it and then if you want to read up on it after you watch it but don't spoil the fun for yourself just go through it watch that movie definitely do check that out Wes Craven's The People Under the Stairs. Brian De Palma's Phantom of the Paradise, starring Paul Williams. Here's a twin billing of some spaghetti westerns. A Pistol for Ringo and The Return of Ringo. Those are good movies. Here's Walter Hill's Pit Stop. This is, is this Walter Hill? I'm sorry, Jack Hill. Yeah, Jack Hill was the director. I don't know why I said Walter Hill. Pray for Death. The Prey. Here's a British kind of a WTF movie called Psychomania. The Pajama Girl Case. David Cronenberg's Rabid. This is the original Rabid. The Soska sisters have remade this a few years ago. Here's Rage of Honor, starring Sho Kasugi. 
Another Brian De Palma film, Raising Cain. Great performance by John Lithgow. Here's a European monster flick. I can never remember if it's Ireland or Scotland, but it's called Rawhead Rex. The atmosphere is great in this movie. The monster looks good. Everything looks beautiful. The, the scenery of, let's see if it says, uh, the scenery wherever it was, if it was Ireland or Scotland, it was beautiful. Somebody can correct me down below. I always forget and then somebody corrects me. Here is Ray Harryhausen's special effects Titan. Again, this was kind of a, this was a bonus material on a different box set that I don't remember which one it was. Kind of a documentary about Ray Harryhausen and his career, pretty much. Here's Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins. I know that they had planned when this came out in the 80s, mid 80s, that this was gonna be a series, or they had planned for it to be a series but it just never took off and they only ran this one movie. It kind of bombed, I think. So they didn't even make a part two. This one's called Kill and Pray. Another gritty spaghetti western. Here is Retaliation. Return of the Killer Tomatoes, was this? Um, this had George Clooney, yeah. George Clooney was in this one. I believe this was, if not his first, it was one of his first movies for George Clooney. Gotta start somewhere. Here's Rififi, Jules Dassin. Here's a movie that I've rather enjoyed quite a bit. It's called Runaway Train. It's got Eric Stoltz and John Voight, and I, I really enjoyed the movie. I thought the atmosphere was excellent. The acting was great. Here's Satan's Blade, low budget backwoods slasher. Scared Stiff. And then we got two more on the shelf. Schlock, John Landis movie, and the last one for shelf three is called The Serpent's Egg, starring David Carradine. Shelf four, Shogun's Joy of Torture. Sisters. Uh, 1973. 1973, uh, Brian De Palma. Here is The Slayer. This movie was pretty good. It had some good scenes in it. I enjoyed it. The Killer Bug movie called Slugs. Jack Hill movie called Spider Baby. Very young. Um, Sid Hag right there. Another killer bug movie, Killer Night Crawlers, called Squirm. Here's Larry Cohen, The Stuff. Strip nude for your killer. The Suspicious Death of a Minor, Dario Argento's Tenebrae, Tenderness of the Wolves, Terror in a Texas Town, I really enjoyed that movie too. Thief, excellent movie starring James Caan, another bank robbing heist movie, very very good. Thieves Highway. Trapped Alive, The Untamed, The Vagrant, Bill Paxton was in the movie, great movie, it's kind of a horror comedy, Versus, The 
the visitor. We are the flesh. What have they done to your daughters? What have you done to Solange? Who dares wins? The wild geese. The wind. Another movie by Nico Mastarakis. With Nail and I. It's a British movie. Wolf Guy. The Zero Boys. This is probably one of Nico Mastarakis' best movies. I really enjoyed that movie quite a bit. Now we're getting into the box sets, and I'm not going to go through all of them. But like I said, if there's something that I go across that you want to see more of, just comment below and I'll go over it in a different video. This one's called American Horror Project, Volume 1. So you get Malatesta's Carnival of Blood, The Witch Who Came from the Sea, and Premonition. I'm not going to open these all up. And then you get American Horror Project, Volume 2. Dream No Evil, Dark August, and The Child. Here's a box set of Battle Royale. This was a, I think it's a Blu-ray DVD combo. It's a limited edition. So you get three discs, and there's other stuff in here. You get extra bonus materials and a poster and art cards and some other goodies. You can see that there. An American Werewolf in London. Uh, this is Battles Without Honor and Humanity. You get uh, Hiroshima, Deathmatch. You get Proxy War, Police Tactics, and Final Episode. Just kind of pull it out a little bit here so I can show you all the stuff that comes with that box set. You get a nice book also, a beautiful set. This is a, a great box set as well. This is George A. Romero's Between Night and Dawn. So basically what this set is are the movies that Romero released between Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead. He released these three movies called The Crazies, Season of the Witch, and There's Always Vanilla. And then there's a book also there on the side. And continuing on, now we're on shelf number five. Um, let's see, here we have Beyond the Door. Edgar Allan Poe's Black Cats. So you get two different movies in this little set here. You get two adaptations by Sergio Martino and Fulci. So Martino's was Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only I Have the Key. So yes, that is a title of the movie. What did I tell you guys about Italians? You gotta love them, man. They uh, were, were very creative. Um, and The Black Cat, which was Fulci's movie. We have uh, Candyman, the original with Tony Todd. City of the Living Dead. The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. And this is the 4K of the Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Bath. This one's called Blood of Hunger. This, these are the films of Jose Larraz. You get Whirlpool, The Coming of Sin, and Vampires. And a book. Carrie. Cat O Nine Tales and the Cat O Nine Tales 4K. 
Cold War Creatures, four films from Sam Katzman. You get the giant claw, zombies from Mora Tau, the werewolf, and creature with the atom brain. Guillermo del Toro, Crimson Peak. Creepshow 2. Different edition of Creepshow 2. And then there's another, yet another third. It's like a teal color. I'm going to track that down someday. I'm in no hurry, though, for that. This is two films by Luciano Ercoli, Death Walks Twice. So you get Death Walks on High Heels and Death Walks at Midnight in a book. So then we have a couple of deep reds here. This, this deep red was the Region B edition. And it was a three disc edition because it came with a CD soundtrack for the movie, which uh, that, uh, that edition right there is very pricey. They re-released it with a harder shell um, outer box for it, but it's only a two disc and they don't have the CD soundtrack, but it is region A. And then they also released it as a 4K. Demons 1 and 2 4K. I don't like this box at all. Der Todes King. It's a Jorg Bukerite movie. German horror at its finest. You get a three disc set because you get a CD soundtrack. Yeah, a lot of these are out of print now and they're pretty pricey. Here's Django. Here's the box set of Donnie Darko. Got this really cheap. You get Donnie Darko, I think that's a book, and then you get the director's cut and the theatrical cut. I want to say I paid like 10 bucks for this brand new. Here is the complete Dr. Fibes, starring the great Vincent Price. You get the abominable Dr. Fibes. Dr. Fibes rises again. And the last one for the shelf is Dune, David Lynch's Dune. Shelf number six, and we're sticking with the box sets here. Let me pull that one out. So we have the Rainier Warner Fassbender collection. This is a huge box set, a little bit of dust on there. But you get the early works, you get the Merchant of Four Seasons, and Beware of a Holy Whore. You get the Marriage of Maria Braun, Fox and His Friends, and Chinese Roulette, Effie Briest, Fear Eats the Soul, The Bitter Tears of Petra von Kant, and a nice book there. Next one is the Female Prisoner Scorpion Complete Collection. You get a nice book. You get uh, Female Prisoner Scorpion 701 Grudge Song. Oops, let me get that in frame there. You get Beast Stable, Jailhouse 41, and Scorpion. This is the 4K edition of Flash Gordon. Great soundtrack by Queen. Excellent movie. I really enjoyed that as a child. Here is a Gamera box set collection. This is the Showa era. So these are all the Gamera movies from the 50s and 60s. You get Gamera, the giant monster. Gameran, Gamera versus Barugan. Gamera versus Gaios. Gamera versus Viras. Camera versus Gyron. Camera versus Jigger. Camera versus Zigra. 
Gamera Super Monster. Really cool little set there. There's, a, there's also another box set of Gamera movies that are the most recent or more modern movies. This one's called Gothic Fantastico for Italian Tales of Terror. You get the Blancheville Monster, oops. The Third Eye, Lady Morgan's Vengeance, and The Witch. And you also get a book. He came from the Swamp, the William Graffet collection. You get Whiskey Mountain. They came from the Swamp, Sting of Death, Death Curse of Tartu, Hooked Generation, The Psychedelic Priest, The Naked Zoo, Mako, Jaws of Death, and a book. Here's a safe serial killer movie that's lo loosely, very, very, very loosely based on Henry Lee Lucas, an oddest tool called Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer, starring the great Michael Rooker. Here's Hellraiser 1, 2, and 3. This is one of the prized pieces of my collection here. This is the Hellraiser Scarlet Box, signed by Doug Bradley, who played Pinhead in the movies. But you get one, two, and three on here as well. It's a more deluxe set than the one I just showed. But yeah, there's some really cool stuff in here. I can I can open that for you if you want, or you can search on YouTube. I'm sure there's hundreds of you videos of that being unboxed. Here's Wes Craven's The Hills Have Eyes, classic horror from the 70s. Enjoyed it. And then The Hills Have Eyes Part 2, which was not very good. The remakes were good though, I thought. Here's House, the collection. So you get House, House 2, the second story, House 3, the horror show, and House 4, the repossession, and a nice thick book right there. Kobayashi's The Human Condition Trilogy. So you get, uh, let's see here, The Human Condition, Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3, and a nice book. I think the running time on these are ridiculous, if I remember. Uh, running time, 574 minutes, black and white. That's almost 10 hours. Here's Killer Dames, Two Gothic Chillers by Emilio P. Maraglia. And you get the Red Queen Kills seven times, and the Night Evelyn came out of the grave, and then you get a book as well. And you have I always mispronounce these, I'm sure, but I'm not even going to try to pronounce it this time. But these are kind of like um, documentaries, and they're kind of showing off different filming techniques. There's some really beautiful scenery in these, these features here. I'll just briefly read a little, about, a little bit about it. It says, told without dialogue, narration, cast, or characters. It's dizzying, hypnotic examples of cinema set to extraordinary scores by Philip Glass. Natural beauty. Uh, so they're kind of showing off modern technology, but th these movies are pretty old now. Pretty sure we can take better pictures on our iPhones than those guys had back then. And let me see here. I'm going to have to pull. It's getting a little tight back in that corner. I got one more for this shelf, which is... Wes Craven's The Last House on the Left, starring the bastard villain David Hess, who was a great actor. He was one of the best villains in movie history, and he's no longer with us. He was a great actor. So that is the end of Shelf 6.
So this is a shelf I usually have a problem with because it's kind of cramped. But I'll get in here the best I can and see what we can see. Uh, we have the Long Good Friday and Mona Lisa box set. Both of the movie star Bob Hoskins. Here's kind of an artsy fartsy movie called Ludwig. And uh, I, that's kind of a regret purchase for me. I wish I didn't buy that. This one, however, this is a great buy. Sorry about that shoddy camera work. If I made you guys dizzy, I apologize. This is the four Marx Brothers at Paramount from 1929 to 1933. You get duck soup, monkey business, horse feathers, the coconuts, and animal crackers in a book. And these guys were great. Here is Mill of the Stone Women. It's a nice little British gothic horror movie. I really enjoyed it. Here's a couple movies I'm not really crazy about, but I have them anyway. And that is Necromantic. These are both Yorg Bootkreit movies again. And Necromantic 2. Very gruesome, gory, disgusting movies. Here's some more Japanese goodness. Outlaw Gangster VIP, The Complete Collection. So you get Gangster VIP, Gangster VIP 2, Heartless, Gord, The Assassin. Um, what does that say? Black Dagger and Kill. And I have the Phantasm box set, Don Coscarelli's classic, which comes with the, the little mirror ball sphere. Here's Argento's Phenomena box set. Also comes at, as the alternate title, Creepers, which was cut pretty heavy. We have Reanimator, great movie. Bride of Reanimator. Robocop. The Big Racket and the Heroin Busters. And this box set was called the Rogue, Rogue Cops and Racketeers. Enzo Castellari. And the last one for this shelf is the Complete Sartana. And you get Light the Fuse, Sartana is coming. Have a good funeral, my friend. Sartana will pay. Sartana's here, trade your pistol for a coffin. I am Sartana, your angel of death, and if you meet Sartana, pray for your death in a book. Sartana, Sartana, tomato, tomato. I'm not sure exactly how it's supposed to be pronounced. I usually call them Sartana. So, all right, I'm gonna get in a little bit uh, cotton mouth here. I'm gonna get something to drink and we'll go to the next shelf, which is over here. So the next shelf will be steel books. And I have 12 monkeys. An American Werewolf in London. A different release of American Werewolf in London, the one that has the slipcover. Audition. Hold on, let me see if I turn the light off behind me if it'll look better. Okay, so it's starting to get dark again. It's well, quarter after 8 p.m. my time, and it's starting to get dark already. Um, so we just finished with Audition. So this is, I guess it didn't really help too much. Battle Royale. The Beyond. Big Trouble in Little China. Black Sunday. Blood and Black Lace. Blowout with John Travolta and Nancy Allen. Excellent movie. Love it. The Burbs. Another great movie. Watch that at least once a year. It's really, really good. The Burning. Great 80s backwoods slasher. City of the Living Dead. 
Day of the Dead. Demons and Demons 2. Django. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. The Fall of the House of Usher. Driller Killer. Foxy Brown. The Hills Have Eyes. Uh, Inferno. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. The Ultra Rare Killer Clowns from Outer Space Slipcover. You may never see that one again. King of New York, starring Christopher Walken. Lady Snowbird, or I'm sorry, Lady, S Lady Snowblood, and also Lady Snowbird. What the heck, man? And Lady Snowblood, Love, of, Love Song of Vengeance. So you get two on that. The house, the last house on the left. Life Force. The Long Good Friday. Maniac Cop. Phantom of the Paradise. Phenomena. The Pit and the Pendulum. Porkies, Rabid, Reanimator. This is a FYE exclusive steelbook. Robocop 4K, Shivers, Time Bandits, Theater of Oops, Theater of Blood, The Thing, Tenebrae, White of the Eye, and Zombie Flesh Eaters. So that concludes the Steelbooks. Now we move up to the window box editions, and these are pretty rare. Hard to find out of print. First one is Battle Royale. A Bay of Blood. The Beyond. The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Black Sunday. Caligula. The Cat O Nine Tales, City of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, Deep Red, Demons, Demons Two, The Exterminator, Forbidden Zone, Frank and Hooker. Toby Hooper is the fun house. The house by the cemetery. Inferno. Lisa and the devil. Maniac cop. Obsession. Phenomena. Red scorpion. Tenebrae. Vamp. Zombie Flesh Eaters. So that concludes the window box, the White Spine editions, but there was also, I don't know, a handful or more of these uh, slip window boxes with like a black spine. This is an anthology called Spirits of the Dead. Ashes and Diamonds. The Tin Drum. The Conformist and Bicycle Thieves. So now we will get into DVDs. Before I get into the DVDs, which are right there, 
there are some box sets that I forgot to show that wouldn't fit on this shelf so I stuck them over here and I kind of forgot about them for the moment but let's just knock these out really quick so we have the Vincent Price six gothic tales box set which is incredibly rare you get six gothic tales from edgar Allan poe which are the fall of the house of usher the pit and a pendulum tales of terror the raven the haunted palace and the tomb of lagaya and a book they have re-released that as a slimmer box set but this one is pretty rare Brian Usna's Society that's a great cover Stray Cat Rock you get Delinquent Girl Boss Wild Jumbo Sex Hunter Machine Animal and Beat 71 here's the Taviani box set you get Padre Padron the Night of Shooting Stars and Chaos in a book Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 which is a very fun movie you also get a 100 page book here's the thing There's a couple of Claude Chabrol box sets. You get Twisting the Knife. Four films. You get The Flower of Evil, Nightcap, The Color of Lies, and The Swindle. And you get a nice book. And the Lies and Deceit box set. You get the book. And then you get Torment, Betty, Madame Bovary, Inspector Lavardin, and Cap Alvin. Cronenberg's Video Drome, starring Deborah Harry. So, this was the box set here that you get. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. The one in the middle there, where it's kind of washed out with the flash, is David Cronenberg's early works, which is what I showed you over here. If I can kind of refresh your memory so this is exactly what you get in that video drone box set so if you have video drone you do not need to get that what I just showed you we got vengeance trails which um, I have pre-ordered this is the spaghetti Four classic westerns volume one and they just released venge or not vengeance trails but they released uh, four classic westerns volume two which should be here at my house any day now but these are all spaghetti westerns you get banditos massacre time my name is pecos and god said to cain and you get a booklet and a poster so this they're calling this um four classic westerns volume one and volume two will be here you'll see that in my next update video which is still going to be a couple weeks away yet we have Vengeance Trilogy, Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, Old Boy, and Lady Vengeance. Weird Wisconsin, the Bill Rebane collection. And I live in Wisconsin, so I was happy to purchase this. You get a documentary called Who is Bill Rebane? You get the movie's called The Alpha Incident, The Demons of Ludlow, Twister's Revenge, The Game, Monster Agogo, and um, Invasion. In Inner Earth. Hold on a second. I'm really, I've been having a hard time seeing lately. I think I have to go get uh, an eye exam, seriously. <laughs> Um, that's Monster Agogo. What was the other one? This is the one I couldn't read. No, that's not it either. Invasion. I still can't read that. What does that say? Oh, Invasion from Inner Earth. 
Wow. And this is a Euro crime box set called Years of Lead. Five classic Italian crime thrillers from 73 to 77. This is a great box set. You get Savage 3, Like Rabid Dogs, Colt 38, Highway Racer, and No, the case is happily resolved. So I'm going to pause it and then we're going to get into these DVDs and I'll upload this thing and hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. Okay, so we just have this little bit left here. We can bang this out really quick. So these are DVD box sets and it, it was made to look like this thing is just completely torn up and banged up. Um, but really it's in perfect condition. They just made it look like that because it's an X rental. Um, that's kind of like their, their um, shtick with this. It's, it's in perfect condition, but it's made to look like it's been rented and beat up and worn. And so you get Maniac Cop, you get the cheerleaders, you get Penitentiary and you get McBain and you also get Revenge of the Cheerleaders and you also get Penitentiary 2. So you do get six movies on four discs. And I love that box set. I think it's great. These are really good too. This is called Terror at the Opera. These are Argento movies. You get the Stendhal Syndrome, Sleepless, and the Card Player. Um, I, I generally like Argento stuff, but I thought the Card Player was pretty bad. I think, in my opinion, that's his, his worst movie is the Card Player. This one's called Fantastic Factory, presents Faust, Love of the Damned, Roma Santa, The Werewolf Hunt, Beyond Reanimator, and Arachnid. So for the DVDs, I have Bayes Moha, Bear Behind Bars, Blood Feast 2, this one's called Blue Movie Blackmail, uh, I think this one's also called The Bitch, let me see, Super Bitch. AKA Blue Movie Blackmail. Okay, moving along here, we have Christmas Evil, Combat Shock, Deadly Blessing, Deadly Outlaw Rekka, The Deadly Spawn, Jaguar Lives. Starring Christopher Lee and Donald Pleasance, the Kentucky Fried movie, Macabre or Macabre, however you decide to pronounce that, Martin, George A. Romero vampire movie, Midnight, The Night Child, Pervert. Pieces, Savage Streets, Silent Night, Deadly Night, Street Trash, Surf Nazis Must Die, Slaughter High, aka Jolly Killer, Two Evil Eyes, and finally, Island of Death. So that was the entire Arrow collection. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions, consider putting those down below so I can add some stuff to the collection. And that'll be it for now. I will, um, thinking about doing a video here within the next, maybe tomorrow or next weekend about my Indicator Powerhouse box sets. I don't have too many, but I can show those in a video. And I'll also do a Vinegar Syndrome overview again soon, pretty soon. So if not tomorrow, next week or so. Um, and then, like I said, in a couple of weeks, two or three weeks, I'll do an update video. And maybe I'll kind of pepper in a magazine flip 
somewhere in there as well. So okay, I'm just kind of rambling right now. So you guys have a great night or a great day whenever you're watching this. Take care and I'll see you next time.